okay, who am I versus what am I trying to project out to the world versus what am I trying to influence people to do or say or be like or feel most importantly because for me it's like it's all about being comfortable and confident in who you are and like if you're a big personality, be a big personality. If you're more of an introvert, be an introvert. You don't have to like push yourself into these modes depending on where you're at. You should be the same person no matter what room you walk into. And so that's kind of what I built my platform to kind of, you know, exemplify. What are some of like the most important like facets or like aspects of yourself and of your brand that you try to convey into your following or that you try to follow? Yeah, I mean those things like being confident in yourself, you know, and, and recognizing that like no one's perfect, like everybody has shit. Like everybody has something that they are not confident, you know, about themselves about, you know what I mean? And I think it's like when you have a large audience, you know, you start getting to a point where people feel like you're not human anymore. So you start, they start putting you on this kind of like celebrity status, you know, pedestal that a lot of people put influencers on. And for me, it's like so important to just be transparent and be honest about like who I am. So for example, like my feed is real pretty, but like catch me on IG stories and I look a hot mess. But I'm just like <laughs> talking about things that I care about um, because I still want to show, I make it a point to show my audience that like authenticity is so important and you can, I, you can manifest the life that you want. So those are like messages that I push to my audience all the time. It's like, you know, I live a life now that I like work for myself. I get free stuff all the time. I get paid to literally be myself. That's what I get paid to do 24 seven. And five years ago, that was not the case. I was like broke as hell in grad school, like not knowing what I'm gonna do with my life. That's what I, when I realized as I was growing my following, I was like, I can really be an example for people. Like, I didn't grow up seeing people that looked like me living a life that they truly wanted to live. That just wasn't something that I, you know, grew up seeing. So, it was so it's just so important for me to show that, like, people like me exist for those who have never experienced anyone like me before. I love that. I think um, one of the things that we talk about a lot is how we can stay connected and, and really connect to like youth culture and kind of the, the kids that are coming up. Um, can you speak a little bit, this is a little bit off of our script, um, but can you speak a little bit to like what it means for you to speak like for your audience? I know it was part of what we talked about a yeah. couple of days ago. Yeah, so that's like so, 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 so important to me. Um, it is probably the most important thing to me at this stage of my like, career, um, which is weird to even say, but um, my audience is everything. Like, I'm not gonna just sell them anything first off. I'm not gonna just like pump their heads up with like false things. Like, I have to stand behind every single thing I stand for or, or believe in and push to them because they can see through the bullshit. Like most of my audience are black women and I always tell people like if you wanna see if something is real or not, you wanna hear how somebody really feels, like black women are gonna be the ones that tell you. But not sis, you need to stop that or how how do you use that? You know our that's not gonna work in our hair. Like they say those things. So like I'm very, very cautious of them and when I go into rooms, especially with brands and for example, if I'm the darkest hue of a person in that room, I'm like, hey, here's 15 other girls. I have a list in my phone, for real, of girls and guys that create amazing content, but a lot of times it's like people cannot find them. Well, that's an excuse, because if you knew the right way to find them, they are out there, um, they exist, and they create amazing content that tells different stories about products, so literally, I mean, why would that be a bad thing? You're selling a feeling, you're selling a vibe, and um, my audience is, is super involved in that process for me when I'm thinking about creating content. So they're like everything. They are why I do what I do. I love that. Can you um, talk a little bit about, um, I know you mentioned before that you've been in the room with like R&D me meetings. You know, we talk about influencer marketing a lot from the marketing and brand side of things. But are there any other like things that you've been involved in or ideas that you would have of like how our teams, like our merchandise teams or sales teams, like people who are in charge of product can like connect with you all yeah. and like utilize influencers yeah. or content creators? I think it's not, it doesn't have to be that deep in the sense of like, you have to have this curated experience every single time you link up with influencers. I think a lot of the best ways that I've kind of like 
stepped into a brand relationship is just like by grabbing coffee. So whenever, you know, you guys have a lot of territories, clearly, and you're all over, so it's like if, if there's influencers that live in Texas, in New York, in LA, or wherever, having just like coffee chats and inviting maybe like five to 10 people each time and making that kind of like a monthly thing or um, you know, doing it kind of sporadically, like that's how it usually happens. Uh, for me, uh, since living here and then living in Dallas, a lot of companies that I work with or brands are in New York or LA and my agency's in LA. So I would like strategically plan trips every month to either LA or make sure that while I'm in New York, I'm spending at least a couple days where I can like have some meetings. So I'm always like reaching out to different brands that I work with or have, you know, um, synergy with like, hey, I'm gonna be in town, do you have time to grab, their, you know, call me for 30 minutes or whatever. And, or vice versa, brands always ask me, hey, the next time you're here, hit us up. Let's just go, you know, get manicures or something. It's like, it doesn't have to be like super intense. It's just like they're people. We're people.